Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have finally found a home for the 55 watt laser. It's time to start that setup, so let's get cracking. All right, friends. The first thing I want to mention is this is the key that opens all of these, and it was attached right here with a little zip cord. And I did not see that earlier. Now, the good thing for you is because I did not see it, I actually designed a 3D printed part that works just as well. So this will be available on Thingiverse if you ever somehow lose your key. All right, friends, so the, make sure the first thing you do is go through your manual. I have been reading through my manual, so I'm gonna work through the steps right now without having the manual open, but friends, you gotta follow this to not void your warranty and all that jazz. If you did not buy the water chiller, you can just switch to the next page where it shows how to add our little pump that just comes with it. Do make sure you remove this and put on the little vent so that it can actually pull water in. And then you can stick in the one that allows water to enter so that we can pump it in. Then you need to unwrap the hose. We'll set that aside, set the cable aside, and set aside the hose clamp. And then you can then connect one of the hoses to the water inlet. Make sure you got it on all the way because that cooling is super essential. And then take the other hose, making sure you don't create a loop. If you grab the same hose and just make a silly loop, that won't help at all. And do the water outlet. Alrighty friends, so I took this out and I took the little plastic adapter that comes and I'm just pushing those together because I think it's easier with it out. Now I'm going to tighten that back in. I'm going to attach the tiny hose that I'm assuming allows you to vent, but I haven't seen this listed anywhere. And I'm assuming this thing is just going to be locked off unless we want to let air out of it. And then make sure you've got the one that says water inlet. Bring it across and simply attach it in that spot. Do you want to make sure it's snug? Because remember, if you don't have the water going through chilling your laser, that's going to probably be a catastrophic failure. Now I'm going to simply place it in the bucket. Set this little one up over the side. Make sure it sticks in there. Also get the exit one in there. And then I'm going to add my distilled water. All right, friends, I popped off that cap. And that's a lot more efficient way to get the water out. And of course I did poke a hole so it vents, but it was still too slow. All right, you can see the cap does go back on so that way you're not losing it all throughout your room. All righty, friends, so here we are on the left side and we need to plug in the water pump. This is also where we connect the ground wire, which is important because the laser uses so much power. And this is where we connect our 110. They do mention to make sure that you plug this into mains power. Do not run it off some sort of uh, extension cord or something like that. Let's open up our tubing. Nice clamp so you can keep it attached. Alrighty friends, so let's get ready to fire it up. First I'm making sure everything is on off, so I'm pressing it that way. I'm going to disable the emergency stop with a left turn. I'm going to turn on the water pump power, and then I'm going to turn on the main power. We've got a controller firing up, and we've got water going through. Alright friends, so with that moving through, let's turn on the actual laser. You can see that we've got our laser dot. The fan in the back is pumping air. We'll do a quick test of the controller. You can see that everything moves like you'd expect to. And now I'm gonna get to work on how to actually use this thing. 
Alrighty friends, so as you can see that was pretty simple to get it set up. Now it's time to learn how to make it work. Friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL My Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.